So here is hopefully a somewhat brief video about how to use Text Expander to expand uh, more than just text in FileMaker. So we can paste in script steps, we can paste in layout objects, fields, custom functions, value lists, tables, anything that um, can be copy and pasted in FileMaker can be used um, using this library. So um, I'm using Text Expander. I just want to point out one caveat here, or not caveat, one disclaimer. I tried to do this in Typeinator and I failed. Someone can probably figure this out, but because I hit a wall, I just uh, switched over to Text Expander for these. I still use both um, because I haven't moved my Typeinator text snippets over to Text Expander. So that disclaimer out of the way, um, you may struggle to do this in Typeinator. Text Expander, I figured out, so you can use my work. <clears throat> so, um, uh, we all know that you can uh, convert, um, you know, clipboard objects in FileMaker to XML and then back using base elements or monkey bread or whatever. But because I want to use this in Text Expander, which is a non FileMaker application, um, I'm actually using Dan Shockley's FM Clip Tools. And he has two scripts. Uh, these are all Apple scripts, it's an Apple script library. And uh, he has FM objects to XML and XML to FM objects. And those are the two main scripts that I'm calling. So I have this saved to a local um, copy of the repo on my computer. And um, this is just saved in my GitHub folder. And then inside of Text Expander, um, I'm pointing my Apple script um, expansions to that folder. So let me find that. It would be folder. I actually have this set up in an interesting way. So I have a plain text expansion pointing to that folder. So whenever I want to reference that folder in another expansion, another snippet, I'm just going to point, I'm going to expand, do a sub expansion of this um, FM Clip Tools scripts folder snippet. So where that's used. Um, is here. So here's basically the foundation for everything else that's in this um, FileMaker text expansion workflow. I have a public FileMaker folder right there, and then I have a private FileMaker private folder. And this FileMaker private folder is not accessible um, when I just am doing my expansions outside of Text Expander, but these snippets are still available to text expander itself. So if I want to expand one of these inside of another snippet, I can. And the reason that's important is um, in my public folder, I'm running AppleScript. These are AppleScript expansions, the alternative being plain text. And they actually have some other cool ones, JavaScript, shell script, uh, formatted stuff. But I'm just using these two. And um, you'll see that if I look at FM object to XML, I'm actually just pointing my Apple script expansion to one of my private expansions, which is set to text FM object to XML. The reason I want to do that is because um, that whatever gets evaluated in this box right here, whatever gets expanded is going to be the text that Apple script evaluates. So I can point this just to another snippet. It will expand that snippet inside the Apple script. It will expand this, and then it'll run that. And that's really cool because I can also dynamically build um, the text. I can build the Apple script dynamically from other snippets. So here I have my FM Clip Tool scripts folder expansion. I'm expanding that inside of this Apple script calculation. And then I'm sending that whole thing to my FM object to XML. And um, and it and it it's useful in another way, which is on top of the text expansions being able to expand multiple you know, expansions and sort of use um, other snippets. The Apple script can do the same. So here I have snippet fm to XML, but I also have fm object to quoted XML, which looks like this. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm going from fm object to XML, but then I'm also quoting the clipboard. And the fact that I have these saved in text snippets allows me to dynamically build more complex Apple scripts from these really simple 
uh, little chunks, these little modules that do one really simple thing. So the first one just converts it to XML and the second one quotes the clipboard. Rather than having to repeat myself a bunch in these AppleScript expansions, I just point it to a couple text expansions that build the AppleScript dynamically for me. So um, that's the logic behind having this public FileMaker folder that I call from inside FileMaker or outside of Text Expander, and then this private folder that only Text Expander can access. So um, that's the basic workflow. And um, what that looks like in practice is right here. So if I copy this, I can open up my text expander, go to XML, go to Sublime. I can paste in my XML. And then I can do my edits here. So let's change this to J, and let's change count to J count. And now I copied that. And let's go to Obj. Boom. So now I have a inner loop compatible with no conflicting iterator variables um, expansion that I was able to expand right inside FileMaker. Um, this gets really useful beyond just having to manipulate existing stuff. So I can save those XML representations into other snippets and do stuff like this. So I can paste in a header, I can do uh, do that, I can do SS loop, I can do another loop, SS J loop. So instead of having to copy and edit, I can do J count. Oops. And then I have that inner loop that is uh, has no conflicts with the outer loop. And I can do all that stuff um, just doing quick expansions. I can also do fields. So um, I can do like a, oops. Um, field default, or I can do field address. So I can paste in fields. I can do custom functions, so CF ISO, uh, CF error. That kind of stuff. And you can do layout objects, so I can do layout footer. Um, yeah, let's expand it, whatever. And I can um, have my default layout objects that work right off the bat. So that was that has a bunch of merge fields and stuff in it too, and it works. So um, this is really powerful beyond just uh, having file, having like a text expander type into FileMaker. Um, we can actually do the uh, XML um, FileMaker object conversions. So the way um, those look, Let's look at a script example, SS allow abort. So what this does is um, it pastes this, so I can set the abort state and then I can uh, restore it later and put a bunch of stuff in between. So what this is basically is just set clip to this string, which is that XML representation, and then we're setting the clipboard with that string, and then we're running this other snippet, fm paste script steps. And the paste script steps just leverages that conver those conversion scripts that I pointed to earlier. So uh, the really cool thing here is if I, let's say that this, uh, I want to change what the snippet is. Or let's just say I have a new snippet that I'm making. So now I have this. If I do 2xml, I can look at what that looks like inside of uh, text editor. So here's the text uh, representation. And now I'm going to change it to quoted, some quote clipboard. And now if I look at it, all the quotation marks are escaped and the whole thing is wrapped in single or in double quotes. And now that I have that on my clipboard, I can go into here and let's make a new snippet with that. So duplicate. Let's do SS test. Um, uh, SS test, and now I'm going to replace that quoted XML with our new quoted XML. Now, if I come back to FileMaker, let's delete that. If I do SS test, it pastes in our new snippet. So you can make edits right inside FileMaker, save it again as uh, XML 
uh, make sure that you escape all the quotes and then paste it into Text Expander and, and change it. So I'm going to do that just now. So I'm going to copy this. And instead, I have this shortcut. Instead of just going to XML, I'm going to go to Quoted XML. And just open Text Expander directly, paste in my new XML, and now SS Test. It has my new thing in it. So um, that's how easy it is to save snippets. That's how easy it is to expand um, directly inside FileMaker. And um, this is really cool because you could do, um, it's really fast. So you can do things like paste your entire template for a script that includes maybe a bunch of examples about how you would handle different situations. It includes your default loop um, syntax and includes uh, how you do subscripts, and how you do error trapping and everything. So um, that could be really cool um, if you have an office that needs to use the same template when you're making scripts and you want to keep everything consistent. Everyone can use the same snippet and, ex and expand and they're always working from the same um, sort of framework and, and, and uh, that keeps everything like kind of in sync with each other. Now on that topic um, this goes one, or probably many, but at least one or two steps deeper. I can do um, a couple really cool things here. So, AppleScript can run shell scripts, and shell can run curl, and therefore, if I can get something from the internet, from a URL somewhere, then I can pull that into my text expander and then do the same uh, XML to FileMaker object conversion. So if I copy that URL and go here, you'll see that I just have this gist, which is a um, basic uh, uh, single pass loop, I think. And um, basically, if I come to FileMaker and I do ssgist, I just pulled that from that URL that's hosted on the web and pasted it into FileMaker. So everyone in an office could theoretically be sharing the exact same snippets. And if those snippets need to get updated, the person who's in charge of that updates it on the, at the URL where it's stored. And then the next time someone expands it, it will include the changes. So if you have a template script and you want to update the way that um, the header is configured, then you can make the change. And then from then on, everyone, every time someone pastes a snippet, it has the new stuff. Um, but if you want to do that without internet access, like maybe you want to do it on a local network, curl works that way too. So I have an example of that here, SS curl. So I'm doing set clip to do shell script curl. And then I have this pointed to a file on my computer. And a really cool thing here, again, I'm reusing this idea is fmxml snippet folder is itself a snippet. So I can dynamically set where these are stored just by changing what is stored inside this snippet. So the way that, that looks is SS curl. That's really fast because it's pulling a local file. And um, if I come over to my desktop, here is the folder that I'm pulling that from. But if I change this, say we want to change the location or we want to change the name of the folder, you can do that. Now if I try this, we're going to get an error because I can't see that. But because we have it saved in this one snippet, um, we can change this to have the S. And now when we do this again, it's able to find it again. So this is a way that you could have it hosted on in office in the server or a server in the office, or even on your local machine. Um, and a really great thing about that is the functions don't need to have escaped text anymore. You can just type it in directly as, as XML. And same thing applies um, if you host it. So by using curl, you don't have to do any of the string escaping, and you can just type it verbatim as it needs to be as an XML representation, and um, it will get pulled in and um, set as a string. So um, sorry that was a little long-winded, but I think I covered um, the most important bits. And I really hope that was useful. I, I know this has really revolutionized the way that I work. And um, more important than the speed, although that's very important, it's increased the fun I have when I'm doing this. And it, it also increases the consistency 
of my scripting. So all very important things. All right, hope that was good. Um, let me know if anyone has questions.